Okay, so upon viewer request, I've decided to show a video on how to get Gen Y Dual Boot. I'm using the Sprint Carrier, regular ROM, but I have Cookies Home Tab 2.0 installed. And let me see here. Right here I have Gen Y on my start menu. I open that up. Get the option to go between Windows and Android. I just pick Windows. It doesn't actually reboot, it just loads something into the registry to where it loads before anything else, any other program. So you still have to go into Windows Mobile for a little bit, but you can deal with it, I think. And so, to get this, you can go through XDA, but I'm pretty sure it's basically open source and I haven't changed anything and I'm not claiming it to be my own. So I've installed it, or I've uploaded it to my Mega Upload, and so our next step, I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, now, as almost always, I've provided you with more than one way to get the file that you need. The first way is to go to this XDA Developers page. The link will be in the description for this video. You scroll down. Just below download, there's two links, Dualboot 1.0.6.0 cabs and the Visual Kitchen. So I'm just going to go to the cabs. It takes you to megaupload.com where you download, you wait out the time and you download a zip file that has multiple files in it. Uh, it depends on what phone you have. I have the HTC Touch Pro 2 and apparently it is WVGA. So I've also provided a direct link for those of you using the Touch Pro 2, and it's to my Rapid Share or my up MegaUpload.com link, and you can download it from there. And then, so you click Regular Download, it downloads almost instantly because it's a very small file. I already have it saved on my desktop. So WVGA, right there. So your next step is take your phone. Plug it into the computer. Select disk drive and click done. Autoplay will recognize it. Click open folder to view files. You drag and drop the Gen Y dual boot onto there. And look for it on here and right there it is, Gen Y dual boot WVGA. And so then go down to your taskbar, safely remove the hardware. Okay. Unplug your phone. Okay. Now navigate to your file explorer, your storage card. Find Gen Y Dual Boot WVGA .cab in your storage card. Click on it. I already have it installed, so it's got to remove the previous version. Okay, it's doing that. You install it to your device. Make sure you install it to the device, otherwise it probably won't work. Okay, click OK, return to your home screen. Back to start. It'll be on your start menu right there, Gen Y Dual Boot. You open that up. And the landscape looks weird, but hold on. Let's get out of this. Sorry, it messed up. Don't do it in landscape, apparently. Okay, Gen Y dual boot. There it is. Looks fine now. I'm going to select Android. It'll boot Android. It'll run Herit. Make sure you have your Android distribution on the root of your storage card, though. So now I'm booting Android, and it'll boot in. And I'll have whatever features I have, depending on what system you have set up to run on your phone right now. But that is how you get Gen Y Dual Boot. 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, shoot me a personal message, or it'll probably be quicker if you just comment on the video. Thank you.